Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out this. This, ladies and gents, is the Transmart Bang Mini. So this is what the box looks like and the first thing I have noticed is that it's actually quite weighty uh, so hopefully that means that it's decent quality um, so according to the box this speaker is made with parties in mind it's got a handy um, handle to carry there is IPX6 waterproof um, yeah it's got something called sound pulse audio 15 hours of playtime, stereo pairing, NFC connection, and a built-in power bank, which is pretty cool, I think. But yeah, we're going to put it through its paces, see what it's really like, and whether I can recommend it. Now, just a side note, this video could have not been made possible without the help from my friends at Transmart, who kindly sent me this speaker to try out. Now, just a side note, as with all my reviews, whilst I do get some products sent to me to try out, the reviews are purely my own and I don't really get paid for making reviews. Um, so the opinion on this speaker is absolutely genuine. Right, let's start by having a look at what we get inside of the box. What I admittedly will say is that I haven't brought my boxing knife with me. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside of the box. Um, there is a nice handle to take it out. And yeah, remember what I said about mini? This is actually pretty big. <laughs> Put that to the side for a minute. So inside of the box, you get a few cables. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. And you also get some documentation and everything that we'll take a closer look at them in a moment. Let's put the box to the side and let's have a look at the speaker. Put these to the side as well. Oh wow, so the first thing I'm going to say is that this is actually pretty heavy and one thing I will say is this reminds me of one of those classical uh, boom boxes um, we used to have in the house when growing up I guess but I absolutely adore this style, you got an NFC logo there which is really cool um, yeah, having a closer look at it yeah it says bang mini just there it's not, it really isn't so mini this <laughs> Well, look at that massive waterproof um, seal there. You have, oh, so this is actually really impressive. We've got USB-A, you got AUX, you got a SD card reader, as well as USB-C, which I imagine is for charging. And let's just seal all of that up. So yeah, it appears you have the same sort of thing that you have with your JBL speakers as well. Uh, see how well it does against that, I guess. Um, Size-wise, this looks very similar to the JBL Extreme, uh, or the original one, anyway. Let's. So, let's have a closer look at what we get inside of the box. So, there's quite a few things inside here. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so you've got a warranty card. And... You get an extra six month warranty, which is pretty good. Yeah, so we go, by default, you have a one year warranty. And if you register online, you also get an additional six months, which is pretty decent. You've got a never leaflet here. This explains how the speaker works in effect. And then you've got your instruction guide. Okay, so we'll put that to the side for the time being. Let's have a look at the final thing inside of the box, which is the cables. 
Okay, so it comes with two cables. It comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable and it comes with a standard aux cable. Yeah, this is what the speaker looks like and I think that in terms of quality, you are getting quite a lot of quality here. Um, for those of you who are unaware, I used to work in an electronics store and one of the main departments I used to work at is portable speakers. So I think it's fair to say that I know what a good quality speaker feels like and I know what one sounds like as well. And with this, my first impressions without even hearing it is the fact that the quality is relatively decent. But once again, whilst the build quality may be decent, the sound quality may not be. And that is something that I've seen with quite a lot of speakers. But yeah, I think it's now time to put it through the test. So let's power on. Hopefully it's charged. And it might not be. This is. Wow, that first impression is actually pretty decent. It's definitely got that boom to it. Oh, and I already see something that you don't get on the JBLs. You've got colors there. I wish you can see it because of the sun. But that's pretty awesome. And I think you can change the colors as well. Yeah, there's a button here, which allows you to change it. So that's pretty cool. Let's test this bad boy out. Yeah. Wow. Good song as well. Right, so the first thing I want to say is this sounds really good. It's um, definitely giving me the vibes of a mega sound system. I mean, this is a pretty small room that I'm in at the minute, and even on the volume really, really low, it's managed to fill the room, which is really good. Uh, this is the type of speaker that I would, without a doubt, want to use if I'm having a barbecue, if I'm having a house sort of party. Um, it's absolutely great for that. Now, one thing I will say as well is that with speakers like this, you often get either too much bass or you don't get enough bass. But I think the level of bass on this is just right. And it's full. You do feel that beat, which is really, really good. Now, let's try something a little bit different. I'm going to try something vocal to see how it copes with the vocals. Me off to purchase mainly the older chip as well as the battery line. So I decided that this year I'm going to treat myself to a new smartwatch, but I'm not going to get the Pixel Watch just. What's really interesting as well, which if we go back to that uh, sound video, is that you have a sound EQ button just here. You may have noticed I was playing around to see what they do. It appears that there's only one setting is either sound pulse on or sound pulse off. I'm going to go back to a song. Let's just go back to the same one. Something about you feel so different. Yeah, you mess me up. So that's I believe a bit off. It's like your energy was kissing my soul back to life was living. It feels like every part of me is dying. Yeah, you're gone without a trace. You me 
And I don't know if you can see it, it actually move. Yeah, so it appears that the sound pulse button, um, all that that does is it well, amplifies the sound a little bit to make it sound even more fulfilling, which is actually pretty good. Obviously, with just the one EQ button, you cannot expect it to have a full-on equalizer, but it's not bad, and I actually quite like it. So yeah, having a look at Amazon here in the UK now, this speaker will set you back around £79.99, and, um, and that's and that was with a 11% discount that they are offering you at the minute. Now, obviously, I've got a huge amount of speakers to compare it against to, but one thing I will say straight away is that this sounds so much more fulfilling than the JBL Extreme. Now, I only ever had the chance to test the original JBL Extreme, uh, but I do feel that the sound coming out of this is... A little bit more powerful in a sense which is a really good thing now in terms of pairing this this is really cool because of the fact that obviously you have your nfc so what your nfc allows you to do is literally just tap your phone and it should initiate the pairing which is pretty cool and um, it's what a lot of speakers should have particularly when you are in a party environment uh, say a friend of yours wants to play their songs you literally put it in pairing mode and you tap it on the device and it will initiate pairing which is pretty cool i think uh, but yeah as for my first impressions i am really satisfied with this speaker i think it's brilliant in terms of sound quality i think it's brilliant in terms of the amount of umph you get from it um, but yeah, only time will tell whether it's a good speaker or whether it isn't and I will hope to hold on for the speaker a little bit longer to see what it's like in a long term scenario. But other than that, that is absolutely it from me in this video. If you like this video, it will mean a huge amount to me if you could subscribe to my channel and if you could hit the thumbs up. It helps small channels like mine grow and be noticed on YouTube. But anyway, till next time, bye. Something about you feels so different Yeah, you mess me up inside